Hi, let's have a look at this Microsoft Power Automate community thread. So the post is regarding Microsoft Forms and SharePoint integration. So I set up a similar form. Okay, that's my form. And the plan is how to collect the multi-select values into SharePoint. So there are different ways you can update this. Uh, so the one way is you can collect, uh, you know, the text as plain text with the comma separated and push that into a text field, or uh, you can get uh, collect the values and update directly into the choice field in SharePoint. Uh, SharePoint. Uh, so I have built a flow for this, and I will explain uh, what I did here. So the first step is, um, you know, the when a new response is submitted, get the response details. So here I have selected the form and the response ID is from my previous step. The next step, I'm collecting the, uh, the multi-selected um, choice values, which is uh, the select multiple answers if required. And here I have got three values here, okay? And also I'll show you my SharePoint. Okay, let me delete this. So under my SharePoint list, um, I have got the sports choice column and uh, that is allow multiple selections and here I have got similar values so these three values also in my Microsoft forms as well okay and I got another uh, value called sref and under the SRF, uh, you know, I'm, I'm planning to update those selected value as comma separated. At the same time, I will update the value under the sports column also, which is a choice field. So there are two ways, you know, you could uh, probably use this. Okay, so let's go back again. So here I, I have collected the value. Then the first thing I need to do here is uh, cleaning up that text. So um, why, I, why I need to clean up the text is when I run the, um, when I, when we run the flow, you can see that uh, it will come up in a format, something like uh, this. Uh, so it will be something like, um, so if you selected these two values, um, so, it will be in this format so that uh, for cleaning up we need to remove the left uh, this square bracket and the double quotes then again this double quotes this double quotes and finally these two values so we should end up having you know comma separated value so that's the reason i have used uh, this replace one so if you look at the um, the replace uh, expression here uh, Here it is. So that's a replace. So you can see here, uh, you know, I have used the left, left square bracket to, um, you know, to clean up with nothing there, make it blank. And then again, uh, square bracket, then again, uh, the double quotes. So you can see I used uh, three expressions in one go, actually. You could use three different, uh, you know, combos output and map those under underneath i will uh, i will update uh, my video description um, you know along with these um, expressions okay so that's that the next thing is uh, i want to we want to iterate uh, each elements so that is a split so here you can see i'm using the split statement uh, to uh, you know uh, to get the each values so that's what that's going to look like so from the cleanup uh, text uh, then I'm using with the comma separated. That means I can iterate each values. Okay. Then I initialize an array. Um, I'll tell you why we, we need that. Why we needed this array in a minute. Okay. So here I'm iterating that output of the cleanup text, which is this. Uh, sorry, which is the um, uh, split. You can see here. See the output of the split there. And then each item, so I want this format, remember curly bracket, double quotes, value, then curly, uh, 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 double quotes, then colon, then double quotes. Inside, I got another expression called item, okay? So this is the format we needed to collect this and append into an array. So that means eventually we will get something like 
something like this then. See that? That's what that's that's going to do. So when we're going to append it, we got another. Um, uh, if we selected more than one value, then when the flow is going to run, we are going to end up having something like this. Okay, so that's the reason we need an array then. You know, to append these values into an array format. So we will end up having something like you know, it's an array. So we will having something like that then. So it's an array. Here it is. So using this array, we can map this under the choice field because that's a multi-select um, field. Okay. So you can see here I am appending the array in a loop. So that means, uh, you know, the split will give, give the output as an array. Then we iterate each and every elements using the item expression. And then uh, using that format also, it will format everything here in the co combo statement then I'm mapping this into the append to array um, variable. Finally, under the create item, all I'm doing here is under the text field, as I mentioned earlier, the cleanup text, which is this, that is going to store with a, as a comma separated value. At the same time, I'm, I'm, you know, uh, here I'm mapping the sports one. So I'll show you again this. So um, when you first add, uh, you will uh, you will when you first add the create item you will see something like this so all you need to do here is uh, to um, map the array value here you need to see switch to input array you need to click on that t sign here and uh, then uh, you know update the value just ignore that at the minute yeah okay and click on the t sign and click on the select text that's it okay so that's that and uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, submit a form now. So here I'm going to select, uh, you know, rugby and football. Okay, that's done now. Okay, let's see the flow is run is running or not. Okay, five seconds ago that's run successfully. So let's quickly have a quick, uh, quickly have a look uh, what it is. So it's collected the response. And we clean up the text using that expression. See, it's comma separated, so that we can, you know, directly update it into a text field. This one, or if you want to, you know, directly update uh, these values under the choice field. What we are doing here is we are splitting up, so that once the split is done, it's an array. Then we iterating, iterating the each values and appending that into an array. So you can see here, uh, you know, um, um, I'm um, getting the each text and uh, then finally uh, appending the array values here and then the last step um, uh, you know it's using the create item to uh, update these values let's have a look at uh, the SharePoint uh, list then so here it is so you can see here that's updated as a text value and here also that updated as a choice field multi select so if I select that and edit so that's a text value. That's a cleanup text we updated. Or if you want to update directly under the choice field, here it is. See, it's been, it's selected rugby and football there. Okay. So hope it is useful and uh, thank you for watching my video.